Welcome to my vintage love. Today we are here with another unboxing video. My vintage fairy godmother reached out to me and asked if I would like another box of vintage and I said, yes, please. Um, I have seen the pictures of the items in here, but I have not seen them yet. I received this a few days ago and been waiting to open it uh, for you on camera so you can experience the joy of new vintage with me um, since you all seem to enjoy the last unboxing video so much. So I'm just gonna tear right in here or I'm gonna open up the box carefully, I should say, not gonna tear anything. Um, very carefully. This box is not quite as big as the box in the last unboxing video, but I'm sure there's still some very beautiful goodies in here that I'm very excited to see. Uh, no hats as far as I know, but um, articles of clothing. And I think these are all for me and none for Matthew, unfortunately. So, um, but we'll still see some very, very fun pieces in here. So here we go. Okay, so we're starting out with a black 50s cha-cha dress, I think she called it. This is a lovely, oops, tuck in the lining there. Gorgeous 50s cha-cha dress sequined all over. It has this fun flared fishtail trumpet little skirt down here. Um, this will be great on, I think. I'm excited to try these on. Uh, she did mention that these might all be a little bit big for me, but I'm gonna try them on anyways and see what works. So really, really cute. I could totally imagine this at Viva or some party like that would be really, really great. First and next up is another black piece. This one's really interesting, the texture on this. It's just a basic, the silhouette is just a basic black dress, but I don't know if you can tell, the, like the fabric on this is really, really interesting. It's almost like an open weave crochet or knitting of some kind. Um, it has kind of a bit of a rough texture to it. It's quite sheer as you can see. Um, so it's one of those that at first is kind of basic looking, but when you look closer at it, it's really, really interesting. Um, so yeah, this will be another really cool one to try on. This would be great to with, form more basically with a black slip underneath, or if I wanted to dress it up or make it more interesting with like a red or white slip underneath. Um, but anyways, really, really cool piece. Excited to try that. Matching belt uh, to go with the, the lace dress, the first dress. Um, and next up is this 30s dress. Very cool. So it has these very cool black buttons at the bust and then on the shoulders, which I think is really fun. To the contrast with this beautiful light, airy, cream colored fabric. It'll be really kind of fun to play with that with accessories later on, black and white accessories. And the bottom is really lovely too. It has these, actually the back I guess has these kind of panels in the back to create a little movement and a little flow in the back right there. So beautiful 30s dress. I'll probably, I'll try this one on. I'll, maybe I'll wear it to uh, next year's lawn party, depending on how it fits. And moving right along. Woo, okay. Got some fun stuff down here. These are the smaller pieces, I think. Um, ooh, this is, I think this is the one I was most excited about. This is amazing two-piece. This is the top of the two-piece, very basic, good black and white bustier top with a little light boning in the bust, it feels like and then a matching or complimentary skirt. This adorable black skirt with the white polka dots or on the bottom, um, appliqued, sewed on. So, so cute. I really hope this one fits. Um, just adorable. The label is uh, Fane, F-A-N-E-E, -E, California. Um, so this will be great to wear. I feel like the, I'm looking at the both boost might be a little bit big on me. Maybe it's something I can take in, but I think this whole set is just adorable. And I'm, I'm really excited to try this one on. Also really good for Viva, I feel like, cause it has like a fifties vibe. So I'm really hoping that it, uh, that it works out. So next up is some more tops, it looks like. And this great little basic fifties number here, beautiful embroidery on this one. And just this basically go with anything. And it has that kind of fun feature on the bottom of 50s tops where the design feature goes to the waist and then you tuck in the bottom, which is de the design feature ends about waist at the waist. So I always think that's kind of cute. Um, and this one, ooh, this one is the other one I'm the most excited about. The print on this one is really, really beautiful. This is, might be handmade, she said, um, but it has this great this really cool print with the sequins and the little lady head on it, sequins over the eyes, which is kind of hilarious. And then the jazz notes and the music books and the harps and everything. Really, really, really cute. 
again, like the kind of like pale, very, very pale blue, pale green color. This would be great with some high-waisted pants. I'm really, tr I'm really excited to try that out. High-waisted pants or pencil skirt, something like that. And it comes with a little matching belt as well. Super cute. I love, love novelty prints, so I love stuff like that. It's simple, but it'll be great. Um, and next up, more 50s. This is a pretty 50s heavy box. Um, two of these little really great basic 50s um, halter tops. Little halter top. This one is pink, totally exposed back. I feel like this might have even been like a more modern construction. I'm actually not quite sure, but very 50s feel, very much like a bad gal kind of feel. I can imagine these with um, some uh, capri pants, some tight capri pants. Uh, very, very cute. Um, and again, this one is basically the same one, but in cream, ivory, and a little softer material, but very, very cute. And again, very kind of bad gal feel to it. Also good for Viva. <laughs> um, and next up, ooh, this one is very cute too. Very excited about this one. This is another set. And this is a little bathing suit set. Unfortunately, the bottom is missing, but it has this adorable bikini top with a little piece that goes around the neck. And then this little top that goes along with it with these cute little frog closures. Looks like the top might be like a little tiny bit more faded than the actual, than the bathing suit top, but how cute is that? I have some white shorts that I think I'll wear this with and it is just adorable. It's kind of rare to find these sets together. Again, the bottom is missing, which is a real bummer, but so, so cute. Can't wait to wear this, really hope it fits. Um, this will be great with some white shorts. And next up, okay, uh, more another top. This is a 30s, knit tops, this knit, this knit is so fine, it's so lovely. And it has this little, this is the front here, and it has this little snap here, and then the little, this little kerchief-like feel in the front. So lovely, so cute, I love this color. It's very 30s, this color, this feel, this fabric. Um, this would be great, I think, with like a cream-colored skirt. This is probably a set at one point in its life. Unfortunately, the skirt is no longer around, but adorable, adorable. Love this. Can't wait to wear it. Um, I, think, I feel like this is something I could wear to work, too, kind of like a vintage, but not too vintage-y over the top, um, which is my favorite kind of vintage, really. Um, this one? Ooh, I can't remember. Oh, okay. This is another 30s dress. Um, this one? Okay. Wow, interesting. This is a really interesting uh, construction on this one. So this is the front. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to figure out the front and the back with 30s dresses. But um, I believe, no, this is the front, sorry. This is the front, um, very delicate, this beautiful delicate lace. This might be a good candidate for a good soaking, I think, because um, I'm not sure if this is the intended original color or if it's been just kind of the yellow to brown with age, but very delicate gown. I could definitely imagine this as a wedding gown. Um, and it looks like there's these panels, these sheer panels that have been put in the sides. I get the sense that that might have been expanded for someone. I don't think that was original to the dress, um, but this came from a costume house, so this very possibly could have been added um, to for use as a costume. Um, so yeah, that lovely, lovely dress. This will be a really interesting one to put on um, to see how it looks on and to soak as well, like I said, um, to see if we can maybe brighten it up a little bit, but lovely, lovely 30s dress there. And next up, getting to the bottom of the box here. Um, next up is, oh, it looks like a little, oh, it's a little purse. It's a lovely little purse. I'm guessing this is from the 20s. And the little, see the inside there and these gorgeous frogs here and a little tassel. And then you go like that and you have a little, a little purse. It's so lovely. That was not in the pictures that I saw, so that one is a surprise. Um, and, oh, this is a little, this is a little 20s bed jacket, very charming, very delicate, one of those lovely pieces that we just don't really have in our wardrobes today, but super lovely, delicate, you can imagine a lady, a lady wearing this to have breakfast in bed, and second to last, is, oh, this is a great little 50s blouse. 
great little basic long sleeve pleats in the front will be just be it's just a good um, just a good basic blouse to have great with pants skirts um, suits anything like that so great addition to the wardrobe and this is the last piece I believe um, coming it's coming in a remixed shoe box that is not shoes um, this is oh there's some lovely flowers in here some lovely satin silk flowers that I'm sure are vintage they're lovely I can definitely use those in the hat or a headpiece. And this piece is actually pretty exceptional. I'm really excited about this one. This is an actual ostrich feather boa from the 20s with um, the little tassels at the end. And then it has these ties right here. So you can just fasten it around yourself. And so that's really fun. Um, it's an amazing condition, which is pretty spectacular because it is from the 20s, so it's at least 100 years old. And it's kind of amazing when these things survive as well as they do. So this is clearly very well taken care of in its life, and I hope it, I will give it another life here. So that's it. That is everything that was in the box. Um, I really hope you enjoyed watching this. and. It was a smaller box, but there's still some great, great stuff in there. Um, I might do a styling video for this one. I'm not sure. We'll have to, I'll have to see how they look and if any of them actually fit. Um, and I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Please subscribe below if you haven't already, or follow us on Instagram at my Vintage Love blog for even more regular updates. And we will see you at the next one. Bye.